Hi, this is Ross Buecher from Control My Nikon. In this video, we're going to see how you can trigger the shutter on your camera using a web browser. And you can use this web browser on your computer or a mobile device. I have a Nikon D7000 here and I'm going to connect to it. And let's go up to the trigger menu and bring up the web trigger. Now this is the web trigger right here. And all the web trigger is, is a web server. This web server listens on port 80 on the same computer that Control My Nikon is running. So if you have anything else listening on port 80, this is not going to work. You'll need to pick a different port. So this web server is going to listen to commands received from a web page and then it's going to send a command to your camera. Now we can test this. Let's hit uh, enable here and then the test button and it's going to bring up the command page in your web browser. Now it isn't very fancy. Really all it does is allows you to click on a button here on the web page and that is sent to control my icon. So currently we're connected. I could tell it to disconnect. And then I could tell it to connect again. And tell it to shoot. Start script and basically the normal set of commands that you can use from triggers. So this allows you to run this particular web page on maybe a smartphone over a wireless network and use it as a remote. Now if I look up top here we could see the URL that we connected to and this is really it right here. So if you started up a web browser on the same computer we just use 127.001 as an address with this HTTP in front of it. You don't have to worry about this part here and that would connect to this built-in web server and bring up this page here and then you can start issuing commands. This web page here is editable. It's an index.html. It's in the same folder as the executables for Control and Icon. So you could tweak this if you like. Now it does not show the captured image here. You'll need to use the image browser for that. Now this address here is important. I mean 127.001 always works on the same computer. Because this is basically a home IP address. It means here. If this Control and Icon was running on one computer, maybe you have a laptop out in the field and you have an iPhone or an Android phone that can connect to it through the wireless network, you would need to use the real IP address here. And you can go to the command prompt and type in IP config and it'll bring up what your IP address is and just put it in here and then go to your iPhone. Make sure your iPhone can see that network that Control and Icon's on and then up here in the address, you just go HTTP colon slash slash and then the IP address that you have put down here. And then you should be able to send these commands. So it's just another way to have an inexpensive remote for your camera. That's it. That's how you set up a web trigger in Control Man Icon. Happy tethering.